one salty swimmer here during swimming liquidtry.com go check it out today we're going to talk about how to write your own workout super simple we're going to take two paths right first if you're a beginner second if you're an intermediate to advanced swimmer this doesn't have to be overly complicated i wrote it all down for you in my beautiful handwriting so let's walk it through the first thing you need to write a good workout is a goal. What is your goal? Is it endurance? Is it working on swim skills? Is it stroke work? Is it triathlon specific swim skills? Is it speed? I don't know what your goals are, but you need to figure that out. The next is figure out what success looks like. Does that mean you're hitting a certain yardage target? Are you hitting a certain pace? Are you hitting a certain workout density? So once you've picked those two things, then we're gonna get into my lovely chart here. So we have a few different types of sets. You have your warm up, get warm. Your preset, which I'll explain when we get to the intermediate and advanced. Your main set, which is where you do most of your work during your workout. Your post set, which again, doesn't apply to beginners, mostly for intermediate and advanced. And then your cool down, where you cool it down, flush out, make sure you feel good. So let's start with the beginners. Your warm up should take about 10 to 20% of your workout. So if you say I'm doing a thousand yards, well, 100 to 200 is your warm up. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. There's no no police are coming to say, oh, you went over, you didn't do enough. Uh, that's just the general rule of thumb. Keep it light, warm up, feel good, do some drills, do some kicking, just mix it up. That's a perfect time for the warm up. Your main set, which is your the main portion of your set um, of your workouts, the most the most yardage. That's where your goal comes into play, whether it's endurance or speed or whatever you're working on. That's where the brunt of the work happens. That should be about 60 to 80% of your workout. So somewhere between 600 and 800 yards, depending on your warm up, depending on the distance of your workout, we're assuming a thousand yard workout. And then finally you come to your cool down again, drills, light kicking, easy swimming. That's going to be about 10 to 20% of your workout. So if you're a beginner, 1,000, 2,000 yards, that's a great breakdown. Now, let's move over to the intermediate to advance. So if you're writing your own workout, you have your goal, your warm up's gonna be about 10 to 20% of your workout. It's gonna be probably a little bit more intricate, intricate than the beginner workout. Then we're gonna do a preset. Now the preset could be a drill set. Generally, it's a build set. So it gets your heart rate up. It's, it's, it's getting you ready to work. That should be about five to 20% depending on the type of workout you're going to be doing uh, and the goals of your workout. Then your main set. So again, the main working part of the workout, 40 to 70%. And that really depends on if you're doing speed or you're doing endurance. Uh, maybe you're training for an Ironman. So the majority of your workout, you might be doing, I don't know, six 400s. So that's gonna be maybe around 70% of your total workout based on, I don't know, I just made that up and I don't feel like doing math. Then you're gonna do your post set. Now the post set could be a drill set, but I like to do my drills during the cool down. So what I like to do on my post set, this is like the cherry on top, okay? So this is the set where if I just did six 400s and I still wanna work on speed or I wanna just like, whatever's left in the tank, use it. I'm gonna maybe do 450s max effort or a couple hundreds fast or maybe a 400 for time. But that's what I'm gonna do in the post set is that cherry on top. And then I'm gonna finish it off with my cool down, some light swimming, flush out from all this hard work and call it a day. So hopefully you found my beautiful writing helpful. I'll, I'll zoom in for you right here. Yep. All right, and with that, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you have some tools uh, to write your own workout. If you go to our site, if you click on the little tab right there, uh, great resource for how to write your own workout. I go into more depth on it I'll give you some sample sets and then you're on your own to basically write your own workout and achieve their goals so hopefully this was helpful you'll see me in another video like subscribe do all those fun things and i will see you next time